Okay, so hello everyone. So welcome to our Financial Literacy Caravan Worldwide Presentation. So how is everyone doing? So, you know, this is, I believe that this is the perfect time to really share this very powerful principle on our financial literacy program, especially during that this time that we are on vacation and we are remembering what God has done for us, right? And during the time that you are still relaxing with your family, you know, you're resting, and you can include this, you know, this is just a very short presentation, right? But I believe with all of my heart, this is life-changing. So before we begin, let's begin in prayer. Heavenly Father, we are so grateful and thankful for, for what you have done to us in the cross of Calvary. Thank you, Lord, for all the sacrifices for saving us in all of our sins, sicknesses, and diseases. Lord, right now we commit to you this time, Lord, as we study this uh, financial literacy program that let it impact the lives of every person who's going to watch and listen to this presentation. You know their situation, Lord, and right now I believe that you're about to meet their needs, oh God. We commit to you, Lord, this meeting, this presentation. We give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Ayan. So, you know, our financial literacy caravan, so we have, this is our declaration for 2024, no? So this is all about financial literacy caravan board pride presentation. This is all about no family left behind, financial breakthrough for everyone, getting out of debt, and livelihood program for everyone. Wow, do you think you really need this? Everybody needs needs it right now. Yes. Okay. So, uh, this is this is actually uh posted in our Facebook, so you can comment. You can write your comment. Okay. So you can write your you can send your message in the comment section. Okay. So whatever you have learned or whatever your questions or any concern. And please don't forget to share it to everybody that needs it right now. Okay? So, basically, our financial literacy program is all about financial blueprint. Okay? Why? Because we believe that building wealth is like building a house. When you build a house, it requires blueprint. Because the blueprint will help us build a solid, strong foundation. So, meaning... Buti pa ang bahay, pag tinatay, may blueprint. So the same thing with our finances. In order for us to have a sense of direction and we'll be able to build a solid, strong financial foundation. Right? And our blueprint is so powerful. You know, It's characterized by two contrasting lines. We call it the x curve, the law of building wealth. Okay? So meaning... Our objective, you know, because I'm going to post a lot of series of financial literacy uh, learnings, you know, and we have only one objective, and that is to help everyone increase your money line. Because as we grow older, your money line should ever be increasing. Because if your money line would never increase, then your responsibility line would never decrease. And if that happens, we will retire broke right and we need to do it fast because we have a very limited time already that's why you see our blueprint is so powerful it can really change a lot of people's life our blueprint is focused on three things make more money save more money and grow more money so we create a lot of programs that will help everyone go through this mmm smm and gmm Make more money, you have to find a way to increase your cash flow all the time. Manage your expenses well. Deuteronomy 8.18 says, It is God who gives you the ability to produce wealth. Okay? You know, that ability that God is giving us means cash flow. Okay? Now, when you start making money, you need to make sure that you will put it in the position of saving your money. Start saving now at any level of income. Proverbs 13, 11 says, He who gathers money little by little makes it grow. Okay? And when you start saving money, then you have to, you need to grow your money. Make money work for you. Build passive 
income. Proverbs 13.22 says, A good person leaves an inheritance to his children's children. Okay? So this is really the focus, the focus of our study. You know? And you see, we created even a module okay, para talagang ma-appreciate ng mga tao this financial literacy. Because we believe that financial education is the key to financial success. Do you agree? Now, supposedly, this module 1 to 3, the learning investment is 12000 But we are going to give it for free. Just become a JOS. How do you become a JOS? You join our company. You join our opportunity. You join our system. You own our system. That's why we call it JOS. You join our system. You own our system. You share our system. Not only you are going to learn financially, okay, financial literacy, but at the same time, it's also equipped with livelihood opportunity. So the JOS, that is only 5999 so we have a separate seminar for that. That's also posted here in the Facebook. You can look for it. No, so the five nine nine nine. You see, so that is a very powerful no thing. Uh, you pay five nine nine nine, and how about your life is about to change? You know, it's. Do you think it's worth it? Yes, of course. No, and when you share it to other people, you see, you are going to start earning from this. Right? Yeah. So very powerful yung ating mission and vision. Our mission is financial blueprint. Our vision is financial education program. So right now, let's just focus our study on this top 10 reason. Bakit walang ipon si Juan after years of work? You know, people, Filipino people are very hardworking. People never plan to fail. They just simply fail to plan. So this is really the biggest problem. no? We need financial plan. We need a blueprint. So bakit nga ba walang ipon after years of work? Even OFWs, we have met a lot of OFWs that after 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, still they end up with no savings. Kaya pag nag-retire sila, sinang papalit sa kanila sa abroad? Their children. Okay? So what are these top 10 reasons? So let's take it one by one. Number 10, maliit ang sweldo. Hindi kasi kasya yung sweldo. Okay? Sakto lang at minsan kulang pa sa pang-araw-araw na gastos. No? So what is the solution? You need to increase your cash flow. That is our MMM. Kasi you cannot save money if you don't have nothing, if you don't have anything to save. Am I right? Very simple, very practical. But you know that it's life-changing, right? So meaning, increase your cash flow all the time. Your cash flow is usually connected to your goals in life. For example, ang goal mo ganito kalaki, no? Ganito kalaki yung goal mo. Uh, you want to buy a brand new car. Pero yung income mo ganito lang kaliit. So what will you do? So, ang gagawin mo ba is you shrink your dream ng brand new car para mag-fit siya dun sa size ng income mo. So, ang size ng income mo, kaya lang bilhin ay motorcycle. Or you are going to challenge yourself to increase your income to fit the size of your dream. So, we have to find a way all the time. You know, any person who is dependent to single source of income will always struggle. We need to have multiple source of income. So very simple. Kulang kinikita, maghanap ka ng pagkakita. The good news is, we have a lot of opportunity. Do you know the, the 5999 thing? You start ask you start a message uh, sending us message on how you are going to become part of that 5999. You know we'll turn that 5999 into a millions of pesos income opportunity. Yes. I promise you. Okay, try it. Number nine. Bakit walang ipon? Ang daming utang. <laughs> Isa pa sa problema natin sa Pilipinas ay yung tinatawag natin extended family. It seems that, you know, alam niya kasi sa Pilipinas, ano, we have this what we call uh, strong uh, family ties. No? It seems that Pag pinaaral ka ng magulang mo, ang susunod ay responsibilidad mo ang magulang mo, responsibilidad mo ang mga kapatid mo. At minsan nga, hindi lang sa kapatid, hanggang sa pamangkin pa. No? 
You see, that's our problem. Hindi po masamang tumulong. Don't get me wrong. It's, it's really uh, a blessing to be a blessing to other people. But the, but you have to understand also, no? You need to help ourselves first. Saan mas maganda tumulong? Sa abundance o sa luck? Because kung wala ka maiipon, hindi mo rin mabibuild ang iyong future. Right? And also, ang dami kasi nagiging utang. No? Ibig sabihin, sa dami kasi na sinusuportahan mo, ang dami mong gastos, wala. No? Uh, Punong-puno ka na ng liabilities. Right? So, number three, of course, a uh, number eight rather, so marami tayong luho. Okay, so number ten kanina, ano yung number ten? Balikan natin. Number ten, maliit ang sweldo. Number nine, liabilities. Number eight, ayan, panay ang palit ng cellphone, bigla ang travel, panay ang kape, Starbucks. <laughs> so, pati mga kaibigan ay maluluho, hawa-hawa na to, no? So make sure we understand what we call needs versus wants. When you are spending money, you need to identify is it needs or is it wants. Ano ibig sabihin ng needs? Pag sinabing needs, I cannot survive without it. You have no choice. You need to, uh, kailangan mong gastusan yun, di ba? Like pagkain. Di ba? Pero pipili ka rin ng pagkain like Where will you buy food? So, ang, ang hambawa, pagkain is needs. Pero ang Jollibee, pagkain din. Is it needs or wants? So, ang bibili mo sa Jollibee? One piece chicken. What if bumili ka na lang sa market ng chicken, ikaw magluto? Or bumili ka sa karinderia? Are you, naway-way mo ba? What is the difference? Okay? So, like you buy, you drink coffee. Are you going to drink coffee? Na... Probably you will just spend around 15 pesos or 20 pesos. Or you'll buy Starbucks that you will spend 200 pesos. So it's all about, you need to uh, you need to make sure we understand what is needs and what is wants. And wants kasi, you can survive even without it. Right? So dapat po alam natin yan. Are you learning? Number seven, sakto lang kasi yung mindset natin. No? <laughs> Ibig sabihin, you know, the Bible says that it is God's will for us to become wealthy. God wants us to become rich. The question is, do we have the same mindset with God? Okay? Or, uh, tinanggap mo na kung ano yung, ano, kung ano yung uh, sarili mo ngayon. Or, or contento ka na. Wala na masama na contento ka, no? You can be content. You can be content with what you have right now. You always thank God for the job, for the blessing. But somehow, at the same time, you also need to fight for excellence. You need to think bigger. You need to do bigger. Am I right? So meaning, again, your money, your cash flow will always be connected to your goals in life, to your dreams in life. Minsan nga, meron sa akin, ano ba goals mo? Gusto daw niya makatulong sa mahihirap. Pero alam mo ba, pagtulong sa mahirap, nangangailangan din ng millions of pesos. Right, yes. That's why you see, there's nothing wrong na ikaw ay umaman, no? Dahil usually, kung ikaw ay nakakaipon na nakakaipon, may kita mo, it's going to accumulate. At ang maganda dito, ang generation mo, payaman ng payaman. Imagine mo kung nagawa ito ng magulang mo, dapat ang yaman-yaman na ng pamilya mo ngayon. Kung nagawa ito ng lolo't lola mo, di ba? Papasa sa magulang mo, ipapamana yan, papamana sa'yo, ikaw papamana mo sa mga anak mo. So, ang generation mo, payaman na ang payaman. Right? Number six, wala kasing plano. So, we'll always talking about this, no? Kaya walang ipon, kasi wala naman talagang plano mag-ipon. No? Meron pa nga ako nakausap, sabi niya. Sabi niya, ang ganda sir na tinuturo niyo. Sabi, o sabi ko sa kanya, kailan ka mag-iipon? Pag nakakaluwag-luwag na raw. <laughs> you know, you got to understand, savings should be a lifestyle. It should be a routine. You need to have this mindset. No? You have to have this plan that whatever you, whatever you receive, you are going to set aside. Anything you receive, you set aside. So usually, you start with the ideal is 20%. You receive, oh, di ba meron tayong formula na 
10, 20, 70 rules. So this is the formula. 10, 20. This is a, ber this is a perfect plan no, for you to be able to build savings. 10, 20, 70 rule. Later on, we will have a separate learning from that. Income minus tithes. That's 10%. 10 minus savings. That's 20% equals expenses. That's 70%. Right? So if that will happen, then you know that you are on your way to financial success. Number five, you bigay lahat sa pamilya. So wala naman tayong problema dyan, ano? Wala tayong problema that you, you, you are really a person who always help your family. But make sure you also help yourself. Okay? So means meaning that hindi 100%. Kaya nga tayo may 10, 20, 70 rule, no? Yung 10%, you give it to God because there is a supernatural blessing from that. Yung 20%, ialat mo sa'yo. Then yung 70%, sige, pagkasyahin ng pamilya mo. So there's absolutely nothing wrong, no? Na you build savings right now because time will come, no? Pag if you live too long, it's a question of who will help you, no? Who will support you? So kung may savings ka, hindi ka aasa sa iba. Number four, takot yung maman. You know, I, I'm sure a lot of people that doesn't even, kumbaga hindi pa nakakarating sa kanilang utak na pwede sila humawak ng 5 million, 10 million, 100 million, you know. It seems that people are always thinking na, oy pang mayayaman lang ang mga karanas niya. O yung mga sinwerte lang, di ba? Uh, for example, some some people don't even think na magkakaroon sila ng bagong sasakyan. That's why they they uh, contento na sila or okay na sa kanila na nagko-commute. Pero kung alam mo araw-araw, naiinis ka, bakit ako nagko-commute? Wala ba akong karapatan magkaroon ng sasakyan? Wala ba akong karapatan yumaman? No? So you have to make sure we change our mindset. You need to be a risk taker. When you save, Learn how to invest. Kaya nga, yung ating blueprint is so powerful. You start making money, you start saving money. Make more money, save more money. Pero hindi ka yayaman pag hindi ka nakarating sa grow more money. Build passive income. Learn how to invest. Right? right? Number three, content na kasi sa buhay. So, you know, you need to understand, ano, hindi forever ang work mo. Matuto ka mag-invest. Kailangan makaipon para sa future mo. Hindi sasapat yung mga SSS na yan, pag-ibig. No? So, meaning, okay lang contento ka, no? hindi ka nagahangad ng sobra-sobra. Pero at the same time, you need to make sure na meron ka tinatawag na financial direction. Okay? Because later on, you don't want to be dependent to anybody else. Okay, so hindi ka aasa kahit kanino. Number two, ayan, so I think na-discuss na natin to, no? yung liabilities, marami kasing utang. No? Then number one, wala kasi nagtuturo sa atin. So ang financial literacy, yan ay hindi na ituturo sa paaralan. Pero sa panahon ngayon, pwede muna itong matutunan ng libre. We need to have a financial coach, we need to have a financial mentor. Okay? Na magtuturo sa atin. So, I hope that did you learn something from now? So, make sure that you will keep on tuning in sa ating po mga pinag-aaralan po dito sa ating financial literacy program. So, if you have further question, just message us and make sure that you'll become part of this organization, 5999. I promise you, it will change your life forever. Thank you very much, everyone. God bless everyone.